What's up guys coming back at you with my Excel free for BBA course for you guys for professionals anybody in the math or science world finance this is what this course is for last court last lecture what I was talking about was buttons and hooking up a button with some VBA code and what I want to go over into more in more depth is actually how to how to access sheets uh, within your spreadsheet <clears throat> let's say we have a spreadsheet as the following as you see on the screen here and last time we created a button that copied the first cell to another cell somewhere around here but let's say for instance now we're dealing with multiple spreadsheets and let me just create a spreadsheet here we're gonna call this production we'll call this production and we can call this sale sales so what if I want to actually take a value from here and put it inside my production worksheet well it's pretty pretty easy uh, all we have to do is we have to tell VBA the reference of my worksheet and the way we do that is with a with a variable or an object called worksheets. So if we type in the following worksheets, you're gonna you're gonna you can index each worksheet using a parenthesis. So for example, if I say worksheets of one, and I can say dot cells of one one dot value, and I can store my value in here and let's print this out to the message box okay so I'll save this just click yes and what we can do now is we're gonna take whatever is in worksheet one at index one so it'll be this one and whatever is in cells 1 1 which is row 1 column 1 which is here and take that value store it in num value and then just print it out so now if I click on this you see that it prints out 60 so pretty easy pretty easy now what if I want to copy this value over to production how do we do that how do you think we would do that well very easy all you would have to do is I'd reference worksheets and again they're indexed so the this one would be one if you put another one this would be two three four and so on so if I say worksheets of two dot cells and I'm gonna say row one column one dot value is equal to num value do that so let's do that and we save this so now this is no longer gonna print anything out we're just going to go back here and we're gonna click and you see that now we were able to print stuff to our second sheet worksheet and grab it from our first worksheet and copy it over here it's as simple as that it's not very very difficult to copy worksheets and values from worksheets so what we can do now is we can actually write a macro that'll take all these values and copy them over here so how would we do that how would we do that so judging from my previous videos you probably kinda know the answer to this except that we're gonna have to do it at the worksheet level so you remember if in my last video uh, what we did was we declared a row column variable so what I can do is declare C as integer so that'll be columns and we can say D I as integer and that'll be my rows right so I'm gonna comment this out and just for quick reference I'm gonna write it out real quick 
where I say I want to go from row one, and remember this is our for i2 loop, and if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that, so make sure that you do check this, check out the for for loop um, videos on my channel for Excel VBA. So we're going from row one to twelve, right? Because we're going from here to here, and we're going to go from columns one to four. So that's pretty easy as well. So we're going to say four C equals one to four. And then we say next C. And that's pretty easy, right? So now if I say, if I can access the message box, I mean the cell at one here, uh, it would be cells of one one dot value. So I would say cells of I C dot value right so that would be my as we go through we're gonna go blank 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 so as we go through each cell I wanna copy that to the cells over here what I have to do is I'm gonna do the what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do worksheets worksheets of one is going to be equal well it's going to assigned be assigned to worksheets of two dot cells of IC dot valley very very easy okay very very easy and <clears throat> what this is going to do is when we get to we, we got to reference it by by the worksheet as well so we do worksheets of one of cells of IC, that means that on the first iteration, we're going to take this value, which is IC, and we're going to assign it to worksheets of two cells of IC, because we want to stay within the same column row value. So it would be 1, 1. So as it goes through, it's just going to copy it to cell 2, I mean worksheet 2. So let's try that. Let's Let's try and get this puppy going so if we click that and we go over here see that copied the same production cells and it copied over the values it does seem a little weird though let's take a look uh, da, 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 da. so it's going to copy that. Yeah, that should be fine. It should be fine. I just don't know why this keeps changing. Let's do that. See that? I got to take a look at that. Ah, I think I know what the problem is. Uh, the problem is I have randoms, random values here, random uh, formulas here that's why it keeps changing so whenever I click that uh, this just changes so all I have to do is just get rid of this rand value and just copy the values again uh, simple 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 um, solution so don't worry about that okay so uh, that's it for this video a little bit of an issue troubleshooting so that's that's a logic error actually that's so we when we talked about different types of errors in Excel that's that's a, a logic error stupid me right so again the reason why this keeps changing if you saw that weird thing happening uh, it's because of this this uh, formula so you see why this 60 doesn't change none of these values change except the ones that have the rand function okay don't make the same mistake I did <laughs> look over your Excel spreadsheet again I'm coming back from vacation so uh, that's why I'm a little lightheaded but uh, Please, if you like the video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I've got more videos coming up and um, never any ads. So uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.